Hello, my name is Robert Carew, and this is my deforestation bibliography. To start off this presentation, I have found an interesting definition of deforestation from the Webster Encyclopedia. This book defines it as to a divest of forests or trees. Divest is a verb that means to strip. The Webster Encyclopedia is a well-known information source and is the only source on this list that is not from the internet. The first reference refers to a Smithsonian article by Sarah Zielinski where she talks about hotspots of deforestation and points out Russia as one of the main ones. Russia is a group together with Alaska and Canada, areas that are known for their largely wooded areas. Even though it is a small part of the article, it has resounding implications when it comes to alerting the population of these environmental situations. The second reference refers to another Smithsonian article that talks about the illegal logging that is going on in certain areas in Russia. The article also includes some companies that have admitted to these unlawful acts, which is important for the progression of eliminating deforestation in Russia. Both of these articles were from a reliable source where researchers and writers are well known and respected. There are a good amount of illegal activities in logging in this country, which needs to be addressed. The site Forest slash Russia delves into a lot of different aspects of environmental issues. This website is controlled by a nonprofit organization that researches and informs the population on what is happening on in the environment. I toured the website and noticed that they have a plethora of information in different environmental fields. These activities should be number one on the list of things the government needs to stop. The article that talks about CH4 uptake in East Russia goes into the chemical situation when it comes to deforestation. The authors discuss how the CH4 uptake is affecting the atmosphere. Even though I'm not a chemist and only understand some of what is written, the authors are able to explain themselves very well. All the statistics that are gone through proves that their information and calculations have been tested out. This article contains the most scientific explanations of all the references. When it comes to deforestation and the legality of certain situations, for example, illegal logging, there are laws in place that protect the wilderness. The article Russian Federation slash Forest Legality delves into multiple forest, trade, processing slash manufacturing, and transport laws held in Russia. With different laws being available to the public, it is easy to trust an article like this. All this site is doing is combining all relevant laws for deforestation and allowing people like myself to use them when obtaining certain information. The article Terrestrial Biomass and the Effects of Deforestation on the Global Carbon Cycle is another scientific article. This piece provides more statistical data when it comes to Russian influence on the global emissions it creates through deforestation and other dire situations. Since this article has a large amount of references and is cited well, the information appears valid. It is difficult to add statistics to an article and have them turn out to be false. The reason I picked the article, the IMF Funding Deforestation, is because it creates an interesting plan on how to cut and prevent deforestation. This article is reliable due to the 158 references that are used along with its lengthy solutions to each decisive problem. The second to last reference includes a specific deforestation area that is in the Russian taiga. This site focuses on illegal activities that are underway in the logging industry in the northwestern area of Russia. There are several links on the website that pertain to solutions, recommendations, and information about deforestation. There is also a page for links to other information sources. The last website I will be using is the most visually appealing of all the references. The Global Forest Watch is a site that allows you to look up any country in the world to check out their deforestation rates throughout the years from 2001 to present. They also inform you on the re reforestation rates as well. There is a good amount of statistical data that will help back up my analytical paper. The picture including shows you what Russia looked like deforestation wise in 2001. I am positive with all these references that I will be able to write an amazing analytical paper full of statistical knowledge that will be useful for any environmental enthusiasts. Thank you for watching.